It's a bird! It's a plane! It what is that? The Flying Gazelle. Today, though, we're gonna clean up the front of the garage right here, and then this is gonna become miter saw station, so me buying the miter saw stand is almost pointless now. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna go pretty much across the width of the garage door. So, here in a second, we're just gonna start moving everything, and I'm gonna start cutting and screwing. All right, so I got the height that I want these boards cut, the width that I want the boards cut, all the widths have pocket holes put in them, so now it's just time to put them together and make a frame. My handy dandy pocket hole chip. Alright, here's the frames. Whoops. Now I just got to cut the cross supports, put one on the top, top, and one on the back side on the bottom with pocket holes. Alright, got one frame, two frame. Oh, I gotta flip it. I am pretty sure that these will hold up quite well nicely because I already tested them. Ah! Dun -dun -dun -dun. Miter station is done. I cut down the piece of plywood that I left. And just brad nailed it down yeah I got more room I can put some stuff down here my shop vac and probably my smoker is gonna go underneath here just so I can get it in and out easier and take clear up more space I think throughout the week I'm gonna clear this thing up take off this bottom support beam and the bottom shelf so I can sit underneath of it move all that stuff onto here and clear this off and then this is gonna have shelving on this side and this side also that I will add at some point um, so yeah uh, this was pretty much all made with this can be made with seven call it eight two by fours and I bought the two by four by 104 inches um, so what is that eight and a half feet somewhere around there um, and then really a half a sheet of plywood if you can get it but you could probably only buy one full sheet um, but then you could use the other half to make shelves so there you go I can't wait to start using it. Very exciting stuff.